uh, how to find axis deviation in ECG whether it is left axis deviation or right axis deviation so with this thing you can just diagnose an ECG left axis deviation or right axis deviation very quick in just less than in one minute so to find the cardiac di deviation or left axis deviation right axis deviation you have to know what is we will just focus on lead 1 lead 2 and AVF so in the lead 1 you see this is one wave this is lead 2 this is AVF so here we will see so first of all you should know what is a positive wave what is a negative wave so this is uh, what I'm drawing this is a positive wave okay so you can see this P and Q R and s and t so you see this part is taller than this part so this we term it as a positive wave there will be another wave you will get see most of the time most of the time in like in normal ecg in v1 you see a negative wave okay this is a negative wave okay this is a negative wave so in the ecg if you are going to find a cardiac uh, axis then you have to find out, uh, you have to know the concept of positive. This is tall, this, look this side is going be below the isoelectric line, this is taller. So this is a negative wave and this is above the isoelectric line. So we call this is a positive wave. Alright, so let's come to here. Now if we get lead 1 positive, if we get lead 1 positive, so suppose this is lead 1. Okay, if we get lead 1 positive, and lead to positive this is a positive wave you see this is a positive wave if you get lead one positive okay if you get lead one positive and lead two positive then that's a normal so if you find that lead one is positive and lead two is also positive then we'll declare it this is a normal ecg means i'm talking about cardiac axis there, there is normal cardiac axis okay so if you find that lead one is negative now if lead 1 is negative, if lead 1 is negative, suppose the lead 1 is negative now, okay, let me draw a lead 1 here. So if the lead 1 is negative, so if a lead 1 is negative, you will not look for lead 2 then, you will look for AVF. If a lead 1 is negative, then AVF if so, lead 1, this is a lead 1, negative, and AVF is positive then this is a let's see which direction it is if lead 1 comes to be negative you will not look for lead 2 you will go for AVF which is which is seems to be positive wave so let's see who is it so lead 1 is negative we know this is lead 1 okay so positive negative so if this is the half the so lead 1 is negative means this half lead 1 is negative okay this is lead 1 and AVF is positive so AVF is positive so AVF is positive AVF is in this direction so AVF is positive means this part so this part is the superimposing common part okay this part is the common part here so it means the vector is in it means the vector is in this direction so that is right axis deviation okay so recapping again so if lead one is negative if lead one is negative okay this is one so if lead one is negative you will look for avf so if lead one is negative avf is positive then this is a right axis deviation okay then if lead one is positive okay if lead one is positive and lead two is negative okay let's try to understand in this way that if lead 1 is positive so lead 1 is positive lead 1 is positive and lead 2 is negative okay lead 2 is negative so this is lead 2 is negative so what will happen let's see okay so let's see it, how it will so lead 1 is positive means lead 1 positive okay so lead one is positive so this is the positive side this is the negative side so lead one is positive lead one is positive lead two is negative so lead two it comes like this so lead two so let this center line 
So lead 1 is negative. So lead 2. This is lead 2. So lead 2 is negative. Means lead 2 is negative. We are talking about negative. So you can see this is the superimposed part. This is the part where this is common. This slice. So it means left axis deviation. So if lead 1 is positive, lead 2 is negative, then this is left axis deviation. Now it's Sometimes you may people question that if what will happen if lead one is negative and AVF is also negative, though this is very rare, but you must know. So if this is lead one, this is negative. This means negative. We are talking about lead one negative. Okay, this is lead one, which is negative, and AVF, which is the AVF. This is the AVF. This is the positive part, and this is negative part. So AVF is also negative. So, if lead 1 is negative, AVF is negative, so this is the common part, you see, this is the common part. So, this is we called as a north-west axis. This is called as a north-west axis. To make it very simple, easier than that, you just hold the ECG with your two of your thumbs. Okay, one thumb in the lead 1, one thumb in the lead 2. If lead 1 is positive, lead 2 is also positive, then that's a normal. This is normal. Okay. Now, if lead 1 is positive, lead 2 is negative. So, deflection or the diversion or the axis deviation is always towards positive side. Remember that. So, lead 1 is positive, lead 2 is negative. So, lead 1 is a positive side is on my left hand, left thumb. So, this is left axis deviation. And if lead 1 is negative, AVF is positive. Lead 1 is negative. AVF is positive. So positive is always towards, the posi uh, so def uh, deviation is always towards positive side. So this is right hand, right thumb, right axis deviation. And if lead 1 is negative, AVF is also negative. It's just in an opposite direction, which is very, very rare. We call it a northwest axis. So in this, by this method, you can diagnose a cardiac axis in by the, your ECG strip in just less than a minute.